Hey guys, I'm Cisco. I'm here at the uh, Beard Brand headquarters and I'm here with Chewy. We're gonna get a haircut and beard trim. So, what are we doing today? Well, what it has been over the last year is kind of, uh, it's been kind of a longer haircut. Yeah. And uh, it's, it was the first year uh, that I've ever had it long. And so recently, right after the summer was over, I had it like a short cut and it didn't really work out for me and I kind of want to grow it back out yeah. and I need some help in knowing what to do with it. Cool. Yeah. As far as the beard's concerned, for Movember, I shaved everything but the mustache and now I'm just kind of growing everything out and trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Do you like the, uh, the length of the stash or do you want it uh, trimmed down? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What I think, think I think we can leave that to uh, that question to the end. Like once okay. we get towards the uh, the mustache and the beard, I'll ask you again just to see how you feel at that point. But uh, if you are growing out the beard again, mm -hmm. um, I mean, just giving you your your lines back just to make it uh, cleaner. I think the length on the beard looks good. If anything, we can go back in there and just trim up some of the uh, longer hairs. But it looks good. Yeah. The uh, how short do you like going on the sides? What do you, what do you like to do there? Uh, typically, I keep it pretty short, but to be honest with you, I'm open to anything. I'm open to changing up the look, I'm, but normally it's about a one and a half. A one and a half? Yeah. Cool. Let's do, just, I mean, for sake of giving you like, I guess if I go with them with a one and a half, it's not gonna be much different, so let's do like a, a one. If yeah, you definitely, because there's not much there. For the sake of the video, you can go. Super cool. A short. little shorter. Yeah. yeah. Let's do. Let's do a one. Let's taper out the the neckline just to make it uh, uh, just cleaner and overall. And I know you have your your cowlick on this side, but you parted on this side, so that's gonna be a nice little test there. But no, nothing, nothing too too crazy to. Yeah. So I don't really know what to do in the back. As you can see, like I didn't even really style it. I just kind of did my comb, and I don't even look back there. Yeah. I mean, it looks yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. The only, that's kind of weird with uh, having these, uh, or a challenge rather with having these cuts, because normally where you part is where your cowlick goes, right? Mm -hmm. But your cowlick's on, on your right side and you part on the left. But no, I mean, it looks, it looks good. Like your hair is not like sticking out too bad. Do you think it could be parted on the right? Uh, maybe, but it also, like having the cowlicks in the front also dictates where your hair lays. Yeah. So naturally, I mean, it looks like your, your hair naturally goes this way. You have like a very strong cowlick that points this to your, to your right. So I would keep it like that. Sounds good. Cool. Let's get after it, man. First thing I'm gonna do here is just gonna just wet his hair and section it off. emphasize the importance, or at least for me, like having symmetrical partings on both sides for end results to be having a symmetrical haircut. Start off with my, with the one just cutting down the, kind of like the first guide of, of for, for his haircut. And again, with the, the symmetry of, of the cut, I always like to start in the middle for any, any clipper work and then work on either side. And I'm gonna work the one up to right under his uh, occipital bone just to keep the weight of his cowlick so it doesn't spring up. You want to make sure you're at least for me like my my first guide to keep it or make it really clean. Yeah. Just to uh, make my work easier, so I don't have to go back back and forth, back and forth. Open it up down to uh, one and a half.
You know, I didn't, I, I didn't, at first when I, when I cut the beard off and left the stash from November, uh, I didn't feel, it just didn't feel right. It, it, I, I had no confidence wearing it around. Right. And uh, after about two weeks, you know, I started feeling it. Yeah. I was like, it, it takes a little getting used to. I would say the same thing for me with, uh, with my stash. I had a, I've never grown a stash out and one day I was just like, Man, I'm just gonna grow it out. I got a lot, of, a, lot of, got a lot of compliments from coworkers and friends. My wife was against it, but I, <laughs> I'm keeping it. Before we go any further with the uh, with the fade, I'm just gonna outline his uh, his his head here just to give me like a, a region for when I do the uh, the taper. I'm gonna keep these as natural as possible. I wanna trim his uh, his back li uh, lines and just make them like go into it just to make them sharper. You wanna keep it pretty pretty natural. It's all about the regrowth. This is where, at least for me, having this uh, clipper modified, where I cut the, uh, the front of the body off, comes in clutch, like working around the ear. I don't have like the, the rest of the body kind of like pressing against this ear. Yeah, I've seen other barbers do that. I always wondered what was, what was up with that. Yeah, it makes for an easier, for an easier job. Work around the mustache. You don't have like your, like I said, like the body in the front there, pressing against the nose or the ear. That's a modified anus? Mm-hmm. And it's a TL liner with a deep tooth blade. Mm. Good deal. So. And then I can see why people pick that off. Makes a lot more sense. Nowadays I kind of do this by default with the with the ear. <laughs> I always feel weird about asking my barber to clean my ear hairs up. <laughs> Should I be? I don't think I don't think the barber would feel awkward like trimming up your uh, your ear hair. I mean I don't think I mean it's your image, you know, complete image. Yeah. Same thing with the eyebrows. I think that's almost a standard. With, uh, I mean, it depends, you know. Like I always, with the eyebrows, I always ask my clients. If they need it, I always ask. Some guys feel like they have like that look. They don't want to lose if they trim their uh, other eyebrows. It's always important. And here I'm just literally just picking out dark spots just to make the, uh, the, the fade a little bit more seamless. I'm not trying to exaggerate the uh, the transition, but I just want to make sure that there's no lines either. Sweet. Can move on to my next step, the one and one half. And again, maintaining that that crown. You need some firewood, Jack? Yeah, that's a lot of wood, man. <laughs> Is that what's in that truck parked out the window? Yeah. yeah just full of wood. Turn the camera on him. Yeah, here he comes. He's coming at nothing. I wouldn't be surprised. I could, I could use a quart of wood. I'm sorry, Father. Do you want to know where the spy shop is? I'm sorry. I don't know. That's some separate business. All right. Well, yeah.
Oh, uh, whoever edits this, you got to keep that in there. Yeah. <laughs> the, the wood guy just came in the door <laughs> as we were filming. Guy. Two tips with the uh, like with doing clipper over comb. Doing this with uh, or putting the, the 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 comb horizontal will leave the most weight. Putting it vertical will reduce uh, a lot more weight. So for the back, since we are trying to uh, keep most of the weight, we're gonna keep the the comb flat here, horizontal. Just angle it out. Again, having the, the longer cowlick is gonna benefit Chewy here with, uh, with styling. Slightly wet his hair here at the bottom. This is where the fine tuning again with the uh, with the shears come in, comes in play. This is going to turn into one of those uh, ASMR videos. I was going to say, it's pretty <laughs> real action. And the whole point of this is to create, with his cut, like a square shape that's going to lead into the top. And of course, keeping the weight in the cowlick region longer. Here I'm just going to do some, uh, some detail work on the top layer of this part. I don't want it to be super heavy. So if you actually see, I'm going to comb his hair in the direction that it grows. I'm going to take diagonal forward sections just to help with uh, how his hair is going to be laying. And it's going to be a very tiny amount of hair that I'm taking off, basically that corner right there. Something that I figured out just from trial and error, all these years of cutting. <laughs> you wanna, when you get to this part, since we are leaving the hair in the cowlick longer, you wanna over direct to the previous section to maintain that length and just cut what is needed. Now we get into the to the top, the fun part. The first thing that I like to do with uh, with scissor cuts, especially like like a lot of side parts, is always checking the shape of the of the of the cut. The reason why is most most guys, whenever they get a cut, they'll start like barbers or whoever cuts their hair will start doing this, just taking it back. What that does, when you look at it from a profile, it creates this round shape, and usually in the middle, it creates like a bump. So in order to alleviate that problem, what we're gonna do is find the center of his head here, get a profile section, start at the peak point of his head. So if you can see these Looking forward, this would be the apex or the highest point of his head. You want that to be the shortest uh, layer in, in the top. So, just 
knocking that down. And you want to follow basically if that center section was lifted up, you want it to be straight. So the back would be longer. This would be the, the shortest point and it will get progressively longer to the front. And since uh, Chewy is growing out his hair, we're just cleaning up, making sure the shape is, is there. What we're gonna do now is just take clean sections here and just work our way from side to side. So you got, you got this here, now we're gonna work on this side, on this angle. So you see my shortest point there, one needs to be cut. And working methodically like this, section by section will guarantee a more precise haircut rather than just taking big chunks of sections and hoping for the best. One thing also that works, or not, not necessarily that works, but something that like will, and I've started incorporating with some of my cuts when I'm working the top is facing my client. Cause I don't need the, the light for the, uh, I need the light for the fade, so facing away from there so I can see how the fade is looking. But when I'm working with the top, just move my, my client to the, to the front and just, so they can see what I'm doing as well. And I'll do this, which is when I'm, when I'm doing uh, shear work. So we get to this part of the head here. You still wanna maintain that, uh, that corner. Otherwise, if you cut it, like, especially with your hair texture, it will literally just spring up. So you want to maintain that that weight and heaviness through that part so like it's easier for you whenever you style it. So the way to do it, since you already have this part right here and this here here lays on this side already, all you have to do is cut or connect the on this side. My, my hair grows in kind of in, in several different directions in that one spot, that, that calic, that swirl. Yeah. And I really don't know how to, uh, to comb it because typically when I get up in the morning, I don't, I'm late and I don't spend enough time you know, on my hair and I, take, I end up taking a comb and just kind of going around like that. Yeah. And so this way, when I do that, I have uh, my hair kind of going in a circle this way mm -hmm. and then in a circle this way. Yeah, no, that's, you're, doing, you're doing it as, as like, I would, I would recommend you to do that. If you were telling me, if that was the first time cutting your hair, I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm, how do I uh, comb my hair? How do I style it? That's exactly what I would say. Just follow your, your basically your cowlick. Cool, thank Your sore you. on the back. Because there's two ways to control the cowlick, right? You can either cut it off or leave it long for it to lay to lay down and I usually prefer the latter which is to leave it long especially with these uh, these styles a little more traditional grow out is, is everything so like if let's say if I, if, I, if I was supposed to like take this super short it's gonna look great in like like a few days but like the next time I see you, you're gonna be like dude like this was sticking up it was just bad so it's just it's just nice having that length in the back for it to do what it wants to do already. Yeah. All right, beer time. You say you are planning to grow back the beard out, right? I think so. Yeah. I think so, if I have my way. Uh, th this length is really, really cool because you can see exactly which, uh, which direction everything grows. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do here is just follow that one into the beard, just taper it in so it doesn't, uh, doesn't have like a real like harsh uh, distinction. And this beard is short enough where it's not gonna be that, that crazy. So 
So what I'm gonna do with this beard here, I'm not gonna bring the line all the way to his, uh, his jaw, especially since he is kind of growing it out. What I'm gonna do is pick a point between the chin and the Adam's apple, kind of like a midway point right there to give him more of a fuller beard. But since he's, he, is, he doesn't have a full, full beard yet, I'm not gonna bring it down to the bottom. Cool little trick too is you can put your the, the, the spine of the comb and just check the integrity of the line. It looks good. And you can do that at home or for like a tip for other barbers. Like, I personally like to use uh, a trimmer with a deep tooth blade on there, just because of the, the feed of, of the blade into the hair is a lot easier. Before shaving or using the, uh, the, the shaver, I'm gonna use some uh, talcum powder here, or body powder. Get rid of all the other hairs. All right, stash. What do you think? To keep or not to keep? <laughs> I say keep it personally. I think if anything, we should probably just trim up some of the, the longer ends, make it a little bit more, co more uh, cohesive. Show a little bit of your lip, but not too much. What do you say? Sounds good, man. Yeah. With this kind of mustache too, you want to create almost like a like a sad face on the on the on the mustache. You don't want to trim into the uh, the length on the sides. Just water. The, this is, I'm just applying a little bit of water here before I shave the, uh, the top line there. And always a new, a new racer for every, every client. It's so important. What model of shave that is that? This is the uh, Jatai Feather uh, Artist uh, SS, I think. Yeah, the blades that I'm using are the uh, Ostra blades. I don't know if you're familiar with yeah. those, Jack. Yeah, kind of a razor nut. I feel good. <laughs> I'll typically lean towards like a Gillette 7 o'clock or a, uh, even some of the shark ones. I really like what, the, what this racer has as far as like putting the Ostra blade in there just because it, it exposes the blade a little bit more so you can actually see where the corners are of the blade. You're not guessing with, uh, as you would with other, other razors. And the weight of it is so, so nice.
Cool. Do some styling up on the on the hair, Chewy. Yeah. <clears throat> so I have basically two hairstyles that I that I need. One of them kind of like a more formal uh, business look mm -hmm. or a formal event look. And then just an everyday, I don't really have time to, to do a whole lot, but I want it to look decent. Cool. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, we use some of the sea salt spray just to get um, some volume in there, especially since you have a finer uh, texture. You wanna, you wanna get that, that root to be lifted. Usually what I do with, uh, I'm gonna bring you this way just because of the, the shortness of the, uh, the blow dryer, but you wanna start um, directing the, the air and the flow at the, at the cowlick here. I'm gonna put a medium, medium heat, low, uh, medium speed. So just direct it here in that center. Yeah, I'm just directing with the uh, with the vent brush here. I'm just directing the the hair like as it naturally will lay. And once I get past like like the middle of the head on top, that's when I start to like really trying to get some volume in there, trying to lift up the the hair. And the last step to do to kind of like lock in that shape is just put it on, on cool. And this will essentially freeze the hair in the, in the desired shape. Just air. Just cold air, yeah. So we're gonna put the, uh, the tree ranger styling bomb. A little bit goes a long way, so we're gonna start off with about that much. I'm gonna turn it out this way so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So with putting any, any type of product, you always want to start from the back. And then work your way towards the front. Get a comb, something with like a little bit less tension so you don't pull any of their, their hair out. And literally just start combing in the direction that the hair is laying. Beard brand comb is perfect for that too. Yeah. yeah. That's actually the only comb that I have, so that's good. These well. Combs. And I left this piece here at the corner, mm -hmm. just a little bit longer. I didn't want to like cut this length, just so like if you want to like kind of style it forward, per se, it give you a little bit more personality to to your cut. Yeah, I like it. Um, and this is something that you would wear like if like again if you were like your first your first cut, more a little more professional, more more pressed mm -hmm. um, on on top. So yeah. Looks good, man. And then obviously like the hair on the, at, in the back. If you need a little bit more product, you, you can. I'm gonna put a little bit more just to, for sakes of the video so it lays down as it should. Now if you look down, and you know, actually where you can see it, you won't have any, any little ones that pop up. Yeah, it's been a minute since that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Give you this so you can actually check out the uh, the back. Yeah, good job. 
That's amazing. But yeah, like key would be just to keep that, uh, that weight towards your cowlick, around the cowlick, just so everything just plays how it should. Thanks for watching this video. Beardbrand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.